Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is backspace string compare. It's very easy problem as I have stated. It's easy. So see what the problem is that we are given two strings S and T and we need to return true if they are equal when both are typed into empty text editors. Hash means a backspace character. That is whenever hash comes it means that we are pressing backspace on our keyboard like in, we are key, in, in a, on our keyboard we have backspace so if hash comes that means we are pressing backspace. So note that after backspacing an empty text, text will continue empty like if uh, backspace is only there and if we press backspace then empty text will remain empty only. Okay. So, so let's see uh, this with a test case. So first of all let's discuss this example. So in this example, what is there that first of all, let's say there are two persons, A person and B person. So first of all, A person is typing this string. So A, B, hash, hash means that a backspace. So first of all, this person uh, uh, is pressing A, then B, then this person press back hash means backspace character. So when backspace is pressed, obviously the previous character will go because backspace deletes one character, right? So this will go and then that person again presses C letter. So C. So this is the string which will be on the text editor. This will be on, on the text editor. Now this is another person that another person is pressing A first, then D, then back, hash means backspace. So again backspace means one character will be deleted and that will be this character. After that, that person is pressing what C? So C. Now see these two strings are equal right the same ac ac hence we will return true okay let's see this test case so here first of all a b so there is obviously no backspace so a b c d this is the one string then b b c d this is another string so they are obviously not equal so they are not equal hence false okay so see guys how we can approach these type of problems Whenever see here, when this hash comes, backspace, hash means backspace, right? So whenever hash comes, what we need to do? We need to remove this previous character, right? The previous character. So from this, like think of a data structure which can store the previous, store the previous, store the previous, uh, store the previous like the character right store the previous character okay so see what we can wh which data structure can store the previous character we can use a stack because in stack what can happen is that you can store see you can store like this string a b then you can whenever hash comes so what you can do, you, you can remove this top element. Now you might be thinking that I usually like, okay, you are saying, you are saying that we need to store the previous character. So why don't we take a variable only to store the previous character? Why we are using extra space that is stack. We can use a, like we can have a variable previous and that can store the previous character. So whenever hash comes, we will just remove that previous character. We can do something like that. But see guys, that will not work. Why? Because there could be multiple hashes. For example, this is a string. A, B, C, hash, hash, hash. Something like this is there. Then how we will do it? How we will go about it? We have to store all these previous characters. So then variable we cannot use. Variable we cannot use to store the previous character. To store previous character, we cannot use a variable. We will have to store in a stack only. Stack. So see, let's, let's see how we can... Uh, how we will uh, use stack let's try run so uh, the string was a uh, it was a b hash c and a d a d hash c so see i will be taking two stacks stack one stack one for this string stack two for this string okay so now first of all we'll traverse these strings so first of all we go to a we push it in the stack we go to b we push it in the stack now we go to hash so hash means backspace we have to delete 
the previous character so what is previous character the top element of the stack so whenever hash comes i will delete the top element now we go to again uh, next character so it's character c the chat so this now i'll take a string and i will store this string this whatever letters are in the stack in a string so it will be ac okay now what i will do now let's uh, do for the second stack uh, string so first of all a will be there a will push into stack then we go to d we push in the stack now we go to hash so backspace delete the top element then we go to c and c we push in the stack so now i will take another string which will store this s2 letters so ac will be again there so see this string and this string both are equal same they are same right so we will return true okay i hope you understood the uh, approach just uh, what you have to do is you have to dry run this stack approach on this test case uh, in which we were returning false so try to uh, do on this test case let's see the code now so see in the code as we discussed we will be taking two stacks each stack for each string then we'll have these two strings to store the final string so first for loop is for stack uh, first string s1 s string if it is backspace character uh, sorry if it's hash and stack is not empty just pop from the stack obviously it will pop the top element otherwise just push in the stack similarly we'll do for the second string and at last we will be popping out the letters from the string from the stack and we will be forming this string and if they are equal at the end we return true so if they are equal so this uh, give this will give us true and we'll return that true so i hope you understood the problem and the code very easy problem time complexity uh, is see we are just traversing uh, the stack only so first of all we are traversing this first string so it will be o of s uh, let's say this string has length l1 and this string has length l2 so first of all l1 for this for loop for this for loop because we are going this uh, size of the string and then l2 for the second loop okay this will be the time complexity and space complexity will be we are taking two stacks so o of let's say this has length n1 and the other stack has length n2 so n1 plus n2 i hope you understood the problem and the approach let me know in the comments if you have any doubt if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you